So, once again, we're going to talk about my topic that still to this day upsets me, but not in a bad way, just more of a frustrating way. Uh, organized play. But this time, I'm going to add another component. See, the problem that I've always said is you got to get people into playing it. you got to get people out trying it out and testing it out and getting a fan base. That's how organized play grows. Because organized play at some point really just becomes marketing for your products. You've got an adventure coming out and you're doing an X amount of characters from this adventure from a very specific source book of yours. The adventures get people interested in the characters. That helps sell the source book. Bada bing, bada boom. It ain't rocket science I'm doing over here. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Most people figured it out. I mean, I figured it out. But now, my thought process is how do I add in virtual tabletop, aka VTT business models to organize play to make it even bigger and better because right now there are tons of people and I don't know how many but I know enough people that are doing organized play so I'll use my buddies I know uh Esper Genesis I know they have an organized play campaign set up it's for their 5e uh science fiction RPG campaigns that they've done all good guys these guys have also worked on previous organized play uh Arcan- living arcanists so they know the process they know what needs to be done. They know why it's important, which I also agree 110%. And they go out there and hustle that. So I'm proud of them on that one. My thought process is, since I am doing, you know, Super Powered by Eminem, a.k.a. Mutants and Masterminds, that's something that should have been done years ago. But, and I mean, let's be honest, the movies should have been the easy push for all of us to do that. So whatever. But if you've got adventures or you're planning to do adventures aka what we're doing with the amazing universe our plan should be to take our ideas and then move them to a digital format because it just makes more sense to do that i think the digital format could be the delivery system that's needed to get the fan base of the organized play there to not only just play but more importantly, spend money on playing. People go, ooh, Lewis, what are you saying? What do you mean? Did well, I want to know, and I've got to assume, the guys on Roll20 and everywhere else are making some money off people playing. But if you did an organized play with a specific system, or 5e, you know, music masterminds, whatever, and you build that fan base and even better you you point that fan base um hey you don't have to buy it on store you buy it here you buy it here where you're at where you're buying your vtt or you point them to your patreon or even better then the people who are interested become paid subscription fans which in turn generates income for you which in turn makes it possible for you to do more stuff like this and so forth and so on. Best of all, people can play the adventures in a specific way. Suppose you were, suppose you release them, you know, suppose you just release whatever. Like we're planning to release, supposedly, this is all supposedly, don't totally believe it, but this is the plan. We're going to release 12 adventures for our next year's worth of adventures, you know, one a month. But four of them are directly connected there are, I think, four... No, sorry. Six of them are directly connected to each other. While the other six are one-shots. Well, once they're online, the people who want to play the six-part can play it right in order. Or they can play the one-shots. And then never play that. It's all up to them. I play one time, one, one adventure in the middle, and it doesn't matter. But if they play the six adventures, maybe at the end we set up a way that, okay, you played all six adventures, you did this... Here's a secret encounter we didn't include anywhere else but here. Or here's a link to a secret page or a secret encounter that you can only find here if you play this. You turn the adventure themselves into interesting marketing to help promote yourself in a different way. Because that's really all that's what we're doing. We're always doing marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. Marketing is what we're doing here. And my God, we're doing a great job at this. So I think the smart plan would be Get into Roll20, get into VTT, whatever. 
whatever the genre, doesn't matter. Focus on building your organized play there. And, you know, maybe you don't need to call it organized play. You call it whatever you want. You give it a cool name, talk about your system, talk about your game, but this is where we play it. And that's what you focus on. What do you guys think? You think I'm crazy? Or you think I got a good idea, something you can work with? Being crazy isn't bad either. Don't kid yourself. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Do me a huge favor. If you like what we talked about, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like what we talked about, hey, give us a thumbs down. We're good either way. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you all later.